Good morning and welcome to Going to Work with Gina, which is an inspiration for STEM students. I am Dr. Gina Henderson. STEM students, this morning I want to talk about how to get classified as a STEM student. How do you get classified as a STEM student? So, um, I know that when you get ready to go back to school, I know no one wants to hear about going back to school because the summer just began. But you got to prepare yourself. So you don't want to have an empty mind when you get ready to go back to school. So during the summer, you want to make sure that you do something, something interactive, something engaging that's going to keep your skills set up, right? So summer students, what I'm saying that you should be doing um, to get classified as a STEM student is to make sure that you can prepare um, for your testing. So I know for ninth grade we talked about PSAT, SAT scoring and all of that, but if you're in elementary school um, and middle school, what do you do during the summer in order to make sure that you have the skill set that you need so you can get classified as a STEM student very early on? So what I'm telling students they should do is you should be reading. You should be reading. I would like to see um, your Lexile to go up maybe 100 to 200 points. In order to do that, that is, that's what you get tested on when you get ready to get back into school. They want to understand what your Lexile is. Because when you started reading and your Lexile goes up and you read a more complex or complicated series of books, um, that means that your comprehension goes up. And when you're able to comprehend and, and problem solve and all those kind of things, that's when you're getting, gaining those reasoning skills that you need in order to become a STEM student, okay? So I, I want to thank you for going to work with Gina, but I want you to know that this is so important. So um, middle school students, what I would like to see you do also right now is go ahead and um, do an experiment. You can either do a, a, a science experiment or plan a trip. Plan a trip that you would like um, to go. Like for instance, my daughter wants to go to Paris. So if she goes to Paris, there's a whole lot of planning that has to be done in, for Paris. And definitely if she wants to go to Africa, there's a whole lot of planning to be done. So go ahead, do those type of projects to make sure that you can gain this, the skill set that you need and you'll be you'll have a thought process that'll take you from one step to the next, okay? So I want to thank you for going to work with Gina this morning. If there are any commercials that you missed, please don't hesitate to go to YouTube, going to work with Gina. Three, please. Thank you.